Well, hey, everybody, we are at the Super Pet Adoption Fair of all adoption fairs. If you're not here, you're missing the greatest event in the entire desert. I have the woman behind the whole thing, the mastermind, the queen of the day. This is Lindy BG. This is amazing. She is the CEO, president, head of Loving All Animals, and this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I'm here picking up poop. <laughs> And there's, there's over a hundred people that are making this happen. I wish I could say, oh, I did it, but there is no way. The volunteers here are fabulous. And the word amazing hardly even describes it. There, there's cages we went walking by that were full this morning. And at 10 o'clock this morning, they're going, we have no dogs left. They're already being adopted out. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, my gosh. Well, by tell tomorrow, me, what, how, when? We're gonna, they're going to bring a whole new batch in tomorrow. A yeah. whole new batch in tomorrow. But by tomorrow night, everybody should be here at 4 o'clock when we start celebrating because each and every one of them I hope is going to be in a home oh, and, and then great. we need to end up everybody and we all have to work together on this we need to be a no kill community absolutely there's, absolutely. Six, there's 60 of them in the United States it's criminal that we're not one of them and we're going to be there and we're going to be there shortly wow you heard it from the boss right there listen what year did this actually start the first year was in my backyard okay so this was 2009 basically right. Right. and you started in your house uh -huh. in the backyard uh -huh. and now it's moved to this now I is this rumor or are there really pot belly pigs goats uh, miniature horses I mean you're adopting that kind of animal out today as well and there's a duck over there and there's some chickens <laughs> and there's some horses and I don't know if you saw the horse and, and buggy wagon yeah and we have a limo because the same weekend as us is also the woman show and people can actually go back and forth the limo will take you back and forth so you can go there and come back here oh <laughs> Well, hi, everybody. We are here at the Super Pet Adoption Fair, the star of the show. I have with us Hollywood's Babe. We've got Karen Marshall dancing through Oz. This is her book. She was the stand-in. Oh, my God. Yeah. Tell me about that experience. I can't tell it all in one minute. <laughs> all those days in one minute and the munchkins and everything. Oh, no. no. We interviewed you years ago and you had your little, well, you had your ruby slippers on and you were doing a little dancing on the yellow brick road. Remember that? I couldn't forget it. How you can I forget it? Since then I've been on a lot of festivals, Wizard of Oz festivals. I see the munchkins again. There are only a couple of them left now, yeah. you know. And uh, it's just wonderful at this stage to still be connected with the Wizard of Oz. Oh, it is just such an icon. Today's theme, of course, is the Wizard of Oz. Well, it is always such an honor to have you with us here today. Thank you, darling, for being here. So good to see you. Wow. Wow, we are so lucky. <laughs> I'm standing here with Tracy Essex. She's the development controller, head of probably uh, the queen of all trades, right, for loving all animals. What's your exact title? I'm the director of development. Which means all of those and more, right? All of everything and more. Absolutely. Everything that needs to be done somehow, some way I get involved in it. <laughs> do you sleep? Absolutely. You do. With dogs, exactly. no less. <laughs> now, we have two friends here. Um, I don't think they have names. Are you going to name yours? This one's Keebler. Oh, it is? Yeah. All right, we're going to name this one uh, Rocco. Why not? Who cares? Hi, Rocco. Yeah, doesn't like that name. Anyway, <laughs> tell me about this thing now. When We've got all these different vendors out here today. When they adopt, is it an individual adoption per um, vendor, or do they have to go through a final gate, a final setup? How does that work? Well, we as an organization just set up the event. We bring all these different rescue groups together, and each of them has their own policies and procedures for adoptions, their own fees. They really decide how they want to handle each individual adoption. We just make the venue available for them, and we invite them at no cost to them. 
So each one is going to have a different kind of um, a waiting period. The counties might not have them spayed or neutered yet, so you mm -hmm. might have to wait till Monday so they can go to the vet. We've got some private rescue groups that require a house visit, a home inspection before really? you can actually adopt. Okay. And these animals have come from some bad circumstances, so you really try to make sure the next one is better. Right. It is a commitment. It yeah. is. There's food. There's annual veterinary expenses. There's yeah. grooming. Somebody like this is going to need agree. a bath and a brush at mm. least once a week. Oh yeah. So it, it's work, but they, the love they give back tenfold. It's so worth it. It's a great sacrifice for them, and you change their lives. Animals are love, and they change your life. Anyhow, thanks to Tracy. Thanks to everybody here. This is just an amazing event. And Loving All Animals, go on their website. See what they do. They are amazing. Well, this is my little friend. This is Jax from the Palm Springs Animal Shelter and just the cutest little kitten in the world. I mean, they need a home. Where are you going, baby? I'll take you home. Whoa, hey now, hey now. Anyway, this sums up another year of the fabulous pet adoption fair here in Palm Springs, California. Check on Loving All Animals. Always check with us at Adventures in Creature Land. And uh, like I said, this is somebody that you need to take home. Well, maybe you just got a new home. Well, we'll catch you next time on Adventures in Creature Land. See ya.